Hey, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna make a Pop-Tart pillow. Here are some of the things that you're gonna need, white and brown flannel fabric, and various colors of felt. You will need batting, which is optional, but it does help your pillow keep its shape. And last you'll need is a bag of stuffing. You're gonna start by taking your brown flannel fabric and you're gonna measure out a rectangle that is 18 inches wide. and 21 and a half inches long. You are also gonna cut out the same 18 by 21 and a half inch rectangle out of the batting. Then you're gonna get your white flannel fabric and you're going to do a 14 by 18 inch rectangle. This is gonna be your frosting. Grab all of your felt and we're gonna cut out our sprinkles. I made my sprinkles about a half inch by a one and a half inch size. Go ahead and cut them out in all the colors. You're gonna grab your black felt and you're gonna fold it over once and then twice and then you're gonna cut out a quarter circle. This is gonna be the eyes for the little face on your pillow. So go ahead and cut out two, and you're just gonna shape them up till you get it nice and round the way you want. Then you're gonna cut out a mouth. Then you're gonna grab some pink felt and you're gonna fold it over twice and cut out two small rectangles for the little blush on your face just to give your face a little personality. Grab a tiny bit of white and you're gonna cut out two small circles for the pupils on the eyes. Go ahead and grab your white frosting you're gonna add the face and the sprinkles just how you want. I try to keep thinking organized chaos because I didn't want them to look too perfect. Then go ahead and hot glue everything down. Fun fact, I never used to like eating Pop-Tarts cold at all. They always had to be warmed up until one day I didn't have any way to warm it up and I just decided, you know what, I'm hungry let's just eat it. And I actually really enjoyed having a cold Pop-Tart. I now eat cold Pop-Tarts more than I eat hot Pop-Tarts, which is kind of funny. But I guess don't knock until you try it. Flip over your frosting and you're gonna fold over all four edges about a quarter inch and we're going to iron this down. That way you have a nice clean edge. Grab one of your brown rectangles and you're going to center this and sew it down as close to the edge as you can. Grab one rectangle batting and lay out the top piece of your Pop-Tart. And then we're going to layer on the back piece of your Pop-Tart. Last goes the last piece of batting, so you should have four layers. Go ahead and sew this with a 3 8 inch seam allowance, and you're going to leave about four inches open. Go ahead and snip off the corners of your pillow. Make sure not to cut past the thread. This is gonna help your corners pop out a little more. Turn your Pop-Tart inside out. You can use a pencil to help pop out your corners a little better. Then it's time to stuff our pillows, so grab your stuffing and go ahead and fill it until it looks good to you.
Our last step is we're going to sew him shut. So you're going to take your needle and thread. You're going to tie a knot on the end of your thread. You're going to start by going through the center on one of the ends. You're going to pick one side and go through about a quarter inch and pull your thread through. Go straight across to the other side another quarter inch and pull your thread through. And you're going to repeat all the way down going straight across to the other side about a quarter inch of fabric pulling your thread through. This is going to be called a ladder stitch which kind of makes your stitches look like a little ladder. Once you have a handful of stitches, you're going to go ahead and grab the end of your string and pull it tight and that's what's going to close up your pillow. Once you get to the end, you're going to go through the center again and we're going to tie a knot. So you're going to grab the side that, of string that doesn't move and you're going to wrap your needle around that side twice and pull your thread through. Then just guide the knot down slowly and there you have your knot. Go ahead and make two knots and then you can snip that off and you have a nice clean seam. That's all there is to it. And now you have successfully completed another project. Thanks for watching another tutorial. I hope you subscribe for more videos. Bye!